I'm Anil Kumar and here is question number six application question from my students test paper on advanced functions MHF4U. Now let us look into this question in details and see how to solve it. The question is the height in meters of a projectile is modeled by the function h of t equals to minus 5 t square plus 25 where t is the time in seconds. It has three parts you need to find the value when the object hits the ground. B is find the average rate of change from the point when the projectile is launched to the point when it hits the ground. And then part C is estimate object speed at the point of impact that means when it hits the ground. Okay so let's solve it one by one. First one is find the point when the object hits the ground. When the object hits the ground height of the object will be zero correct so we can solve for zero equals to minus 5 t square plus 25 correct we can always factor this so I'll factor this as minus 5 and then what do we get so we get t square minus 5 correct that is what we get so the possible answers are square root of 5 is that okay so t square should be 5 so t could be we can write down here t could be equal to t square or let us do like this we'll add one more step so that is t square minus 5 equals to 0 or t square equals to 5 or t equals to plus minus square root of 5 and of course t cannot be negative so we'll take positive square root of 5 as our answer. So we'll use the calculator square root of 5 is equals to 2.236. So let's write this as 2.24 right so approximately. So that is the time when it hits the ground right. Now find the average rate of change from the point when the projectile is launched to the point when it hits the ground. So average rate of change will be, now that is the time when it hits the ground, right? You can also use square root of 5, which will actually give you accurate answer. So we'll use square root of 5 instead of the decimal value, okay? So average rate of change from the point when the projectile is launched, at that, that time t is 0, right? So we are actually trying to find average rate of change between t equals to 0 and when it hits the ground, which is t equals to square root of 5. So we have to find h of square root of 5 minus h of 0 divided by square root of 5 minus 0. Correct? Now h of square root of 5 is 0. We know it hits the ground so the height is 0. And when I substitute 0 here so I get the first term 0 and I get plus 25. So this is minus 25 right h of 0 we can say here let me write h 0 equals to 25 right t square will be 0 divided by square root of 5 correct so it is negative right average rate of change since the height has decreased and the answer is let's use the calculator once again so we'll say 25 divided by square root of 5 which is equals to 11.18 right so we can write this as 11.18 and we should always mention the units right height is in meters correct and time is in seconds so it is so much meters per second if you don't write the units you lose marks in this case it is average rate of change meters per second okay so you get your answer as minus 11 um, I should have written negative here, right? Minus 11. So let me write answer very clearly. Minus 11.18 meters per second. Correct? Now, part C is estimate object's speed at the point of impact. Now, when we are talking about the speed at impact, then we are talking about difference quotient with very small interval of time. You get the idea right so in that case what we should do is we should find the value of this function at at a point which is very close to square root of 5 and it is less than square root of 5 okay so what we will do is we will find h of square
square root of 5 minus h of square root of let us say 4.9 which is just less than h of 5 divided by square root of 5 minus square root of 4.9 okay so this is very close just before impact right we cannot use the following interval but we can definitely use this interval correct so let's use the calculator to find these values right we know h of square root of 5 is 0 right so we need to find what is the value when it is h of 4.9 right so if I substitute 4.9 here, what do I get? So let me write down h of square root of 4.9 is how much? 4.9, right? So 4.9 times minus 5. So I'll say, uh, so what we will do here is we'll do 25 minus 4.9 times 5. That gives me half. 0 0.5 that gives me 0 0.5 correct 25 minus square root of 4.9 which is actually okay so approximately 0 0.5 divided by this is negative right since since this is 0 0 minus negative divided by square root of so this will divide by within bracket square root of 5 minus square root of 4.9 bracket close equals to so we get a decimal value of 22.24 right so we can write down this as so I didn't show the calculations here but I am writing the result here which is minus 22.24 meters per second right it really means the velocity with which uh, the object hits the ground okay so that is how it is so because I calculated both the values together using calculator we got that answer right so it's a good idea when we have t square why not to use a value like 4.9 square root right so that's that's something which I wanted to share with you I hope that helps thank you and all the best